Sorry, Peter here. How, how are you doing, Peter? Are you well? Thank you. Never been better. All good. Good. Uh, if it wasn't so cold, we would be sitting outside in our fields. And I'd be in my retail <laughs> store, but looks like we're both in our storerooms or our yeah, filing that's, rooms. That's right. Quite right. That's where I am. Yeah. How, how are you this morning? Lovely. Never been better. Thank you. Brilliant. Good to hear. So we're pretty excited about um, the product that we've recently listed with you guys. Mm -hmm. And we're getting some really good feedback. I'm very keen to hand over to you and tell me two things. Tell us a little bit more about your olive oil. But more importantly, what are the benefits of glugging your olive oil or any olive oil, any good olive oil that is? Very, um, OK, any good olive oil. And let me perhaps elaborate a tiny bit on that just for your listeners or your customers who are not already familiar with it. But olive oil, from the moment we pick the berries, is oxidizing. So it's degrading. And the trick with olive oil is to get the freshest olive oil you possibly can. Um, and South Africa has a very strict uh, sort of control of olive oil that comes onto the market insofar as we all get our oils tested in a laboratory um, to ensure they're fresh and they have the right uh, fresh components, the antioxidants are high and so on. Um, and all our oil also has best before dates um, on the bottles. Uh, so with South African olive oil, you can be sure if it's extra virgin olive oil and it, if it's got the CTC stamp on it, which 99% have got, um, your customers can be sure that it's very fresh olive oil and it's been scrutinized by a panel of organoleptic tasting people qualified to certify it is fresh and it's uh, extra virgin. Whereas imported oil, with respect, has often uh, been around the globe. It's often been through refineries. It's often several years old already by the time it reaches our shelves in South Africa. And one of the, the, the greatest health benefits of olive oil comes with its freshness. So old olive oil doesn't have all those benefits. Olive oil that's been through a refinery somewhere in Southern Europe doesn't have those benefits. It falls into the same category of seed oil that's been through refineries in this country or anywhere else does have as well. well there so the trick been, is fresh olive oil. Some, there've been some really uh, horrific stories of supermarkets, <laughs> um, you know, bringing in some cheap oils. And I guess, I mean, we're selling your bottle, which is right there. Yeah. Um, 170 rand a bottle, which is a really super price at the moment. And mm. I know it's on special, but it's really an incredible one. And, you know, mm. we, we're trying to help customers navigate their way uh, without, you know, confusing them even further. But we've stuck by the SA Olive uh, mm. emblem. And, and we obviously are focused on selling local olive oils because they're safer, as you say. So it's great that you're confirming that. Mm. Um, we don't sell an olive oil uh, that doesn't have the SA olive uh, sticker on it. And obviously, um, you know, the taste is a big guideline. Uh, if you, mm. if you know, you, if, you know, it should enhance your meal. It shouldn't lubricate your meal. Uh, what would you say to that? Oh, Gary, yeah, you're so right. Um, you know, I can say a few things uh, which are a little bit on the technical side, but first of all, um, and that is that olive oil added to food has biological benefits uh, that your body uses to release the nutrients in the other food. Um, now that's something that's not generally known and not generally appreciated, but in Germany, sorry, I'm, losing you there, just hang on a sec. Um, in Germany, they've done research into olive oils. It's particularly the difference between organic and non-organic oils. And 
they produced a, a, a finding, which is a preliminary finding, which, which is a book as thick as the family Bible on all the benefits of olive oil and particularly organic olive oil. Um, so research goes on and these are the sort of things they're finding, but the benefits of adding olive oil to food, if you take broccoli and you steam it, for example, and you pour olive oil liberally over it, it enhances the flavor. Um, for meat eaters, similarly, if you pour olive oil over a steak after it's been cooked, it lifts the flavor of the meat. Um, so vegetarian or meat eating, uh, there are huge benefits, not only flavor enhancement, but once the food goes inside and the um, benefits of olive oil in releasing the micronutrients to your system are hugely improved with olive oil. That's incredible. And uh, that's something that I bet a lot of our customers didn't realize. Uh, we're all about nutrient density and we're about um, getting good fats into, into people because uh, you know there's a lot of research saying that you, need, you do need some form of good fats and especially for plant-based or vegetarian stroke vegan folk, uh, you know, they need to get uh, additional oils. And, you know, we're always talking about olive oils and suddenly, you know, yours cropped across our store somehow. And we took to this product uh, because it tasted incredible. It tastes mm -hmm. very, very much like a European uh, traditional um olive oil that comes from a tree that's ancient. So tell us a little bit, a little bit about uh, how you've, how have you got your olive oil to taste so good? Is it, is it got a lot to do with the soil? Um, because we, we believe that the soil is a massive part of it, obviously the climate, but tell us a little bit more about what's happening on your farm. Yeah, Gary, um, nice question. I always enjoy that question. Um, I watched a uh, Zoom chat between you and uh, Andrew Ardington recently, and I was delighted by that because uh, what Andrew was saying is exactly our philosophy too. Um, we see our planet as having a tiny crust around the very surface, um, which is the arable soils that exist. Um, and that crust of soil is what sustains human life on the planet. And it's through agriculture, obviously, that that happens. And um, whereas conventional uh, agriculture using chemical fertilizers and pesticides and herbicides um, doesn't amount to a sustainable forward going approach to food production, um, we, are, we always have been organic. And I don't want it to sound like a sort of uri-guri thing. You know, there are lots of, all we do is we try and farm sustainably. So we are, are always composting. Uh, we encourage earthworms. We uh, don't use pesticides and herbicides. We try and work with nature. So whereas 20 years ago, I bought a piece of dead felt which had been over cultivated with vegetables. It was exhausted. Um, today, we've got very, a, a farm with wonderful, very rich soil. Um, so that's come from our focus on building the soil. And Gary, how our oils have been winning all these competitions, I don't really know. Um, we do our best, obviously, picking at the right time, pressing quickly, pressing, uh, cool pressing, um, and keeping our oil refrigerated at 17 degrees, not exposed to oxygen, and so on and so on. So we do all our best that we can in that department, but I think it's nature, and I think there's more to this organic farming than I realize. And I can only imagine it's somehow through those processes of our care for the subsoils on our farm and all the microorganisms in the soil that our oils are turning out as good as they are. Fantastic. And that's really, really good to know. And, you know, we're, 
we're all and often in absolute wonder at the people in the blue zones uh, and when you look at their diets they all include olive oil and a good olive oil and what's so incredible is in the middle of south africa and uh, in johannesburg you guys can we can now have access to to this elixir which which truly and and my test um Peter, is that if i can have a tequila tot glass full of olive oil and feel good uh, it takes some practice um, mm -hmm. first time you've got to go with a teaspoon and then you go with a, with a dessert spoon, but I'm up to a tequila, uh, shot of this and I do it about twice a week mm -hmm. and it's got an incredible taste. Uh, my body receives it well. And I just want to say, you know, that you guys are doing a fantastic job and you have such an incredible product, um, that we, we, we think, uh, that, you know, people need to buy locally and they need to try um, your olive oil. So so I think we definitely have run out of time, but I'd love to engage with you again uh, soon in terms of uh, a little bit more possibly on the technical side and, and just to understand a little bit more about olive oil. Um, okay. The way I'm going to do this is get some questions um, from customers on what they want uh, me to ask you. And I'll get you back on soon and I'll fire some questions off at you. Um, thank you for sharing your knowledge and sharing your passion. And I want to wish you well, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you, Gary. That's very kind of you. I appreciate it. Thank All you. Right. All the best to you chaps too. Thank you so much, sir. All right. Speak to you thank soon. you too.